And I remember this was around midnight. Um, there is a who sound, and there is a guy next to the uh, the cluster next to us who just fell back, and everybody thought, oh. Is this bullet, you know, real bullet? And I, I'm sure he died on the spot because I remember um, looking over and he's this tall, skinny guy who had a bullet through his neck and never, I mean, he was rushed away. But amazingly, nobody left. People stood there, I think, with a sense of disbelief, as kind of a sense of innocence and solidarity because everybody knew the students were still nearby on the square. And um, so um, close to 1.15 or so, it was uh, the time when the, the, the army began to open fire. And just like Nick uh, described, people run away and couldn't believe this is happening. And it's a, a kind of a surreal feeling. And I was running with the crowd, but at every lull, there are a lot of people going back towards the army, towards the Tiananmen Square. And this incredible sound from um, the thousands of people yelling at the top of their, their uh, lung. Uh, first was Da uh, Gong, I remember, the, uh, general strike, general strike, repeated many times until another rain of bullet start sh shooting at the people. And then there were people actually dropping. By. And I remember clearly, because it was summer, so most people, Chinese there um, at that time, were, you know, uh, white shirts, so you see the giant, you know, um, you know uh, blood uh, as they were being carried away. Um, and then the last time I, I remember there was these people, uh, the, the whole square was resonant with the scream, which is chu sheng, chu sheng, chu sheng, meaning beast, beast, beast. And I, 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 this sound had never went away. All these years, every time I remember that night, I remember this fury and still this, um, you know, passion about, you know, standing up and, and people run, you know, throwing whatever they could from, you know, bottles or whatever they have, glasses uh, as they run away. Um, and then the last moment I remember was the next morning. Uh, I, I was downstairs with. Uh, a bunch of neighbors from my uh, parents' building because we could hear the tanks. And this, you know, for someone who grew up in peacetime, already, you know, 10 hours ago, I saw about more than a dozen people uh, being killed in front of me. And now I remember the sound of tanks, a roll of tanks grinding through Chang'an uh, Square. And this very old neighbor, this is a, 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 a building of scholars, <laughs> Uh, who said, my God, the last time I felt like this was when the Japanese entered Beijing. Uh, he was recalling, of course, the Japanese invasion of 1930s. And th these are the, the, the moments I, I felt um, that was burned in my memory forever. And it was showing, I think, the, both the best and the worst of, of the city and, and my people.